is the Progressive Agenda. Jamaica is on the eve of its 50th anniversary. Faced with a range of serious developmental challenges, Jamaicans are looking for more opportunities and better governance. Jamaicans require a progressive solution now. The present realities demand change, demand cutting-edge ideas, but the core values are sacred and must remain as our moral compass. The People's National Party's answer to the call for change is the progressive agenda. By progressive, the PNP means promoting progress towards change for better conditions through new ideas, new policies, and new methods. By agenda, the PNP means an action plan with measurable outcomes identified to meet Jamaica's national development goals in a sustainable way. The party president and opposition leader, Portia Simpson Miller, sat with the PNP's policy commission and outlined her comprehensive vision for Jamaica. She has consistently articulated this vision at home and abroad over time. Portia Simpson Miller insisted that the mix of policies within the progressive agenda be informed by rigorous and credible research. They must be data-driven and evidence-based. The policies must also have measurable outcomes. We must renew and refine our policies in order to remain relevant. Jamaica is in crisis. It is the People's National Party that has always answered the call. The PNP has always been the conscience of the nation. We are the party of ideas. What is needed is a new narrative, a new conversation, and a new approach on how to organize and implement fairness and progress in the 21st century. That is what the progressive agenda is. So what does the progressive agenda seek to achieve? The progressive agenda presents a strategy for accelerated growth and sustainable development for Jamaica. We must address the issues of producing our way out of this crisis and building a platform for growth and development. The people of Jamaica exist at the center of the progressive agenda. Unless we take an integrated approach to development and put the development of people, poverty alleviation, and the reduction of inequality at the center of the development agenda, we would have lost an opportunity for which future generations will judge us harshly. The progressive agenda is focused on wealth creation for every single Jamaican. Jamaicans do extremely well when given the opportunity. I believe that if we create the right conditions for our people to flourish, if as government we see ourselves as facilitators, then we will experience the unleashing of the Jamaican creative spirit that can move this country forward. The progressive agenda is integrated into the global marketplace. We must therefore achieve and maintain global standards in all that we do without losing that which makes us uniquely Caribbean. The policies must result in high levels of productivity and competitiveness with jobs. Economic activity must drive the creation of jobs as jobless growth is not a viable option. We have placed economic growth with jobs at the heart of our economic plan. Most importantly, the policies seek to achieve social inclusion and equality of opportunity. The progressive agenda policy mix must benefit all Jamaicans. We have always
always been committed to the creation of an egalitarian society. Yeah, yeah. Equality of mankind. The ability to maximize one's potential in any sphere of life is the litmus test for what is the people's national party. These are the characteristics of the progressive agenda policy mix. So, what are the principles of the progressive agenda? The progressive agenda has five pillars. The five pillars provide balancing structures for its policies. All the policies have been developed with the main pillar of the progressive agenda in mind. These are participation, accountability, and responsibility. This is known as the PAR principle. The country is demanding a new way of doing business, Mr. Speaker. The people are demanding an approach that mainstreams greater participation, accountability, and responsibility. They are beckoning for the revaluation of critical institutions of our democracy and our governance. The other four pillars are human resource development, a safe and just society, progressive internationalism, and economic growth and sustainable national development. This mix of principles is called happy. When the two sets of principles come together, this is a sure recipe for national development. Then, the People's National Party, through its progressive agenda, will truly make things happen. So what are some of the areas of emphasis of the progressive agenda? Among the most important is the emphasis on science and technology, in particular, Information Communications Technology, ICT. We live in a digital age. Countries that are equipped to benefit from the technological revolution have a powerful weapon in their hands. Those lagging behind will be seriously handicapped. To go forward with confidence and power, we will also have to conquer the field of information and communication technology. ICT is a key driver in globalization. Directly related to this is an emphasis on the cultural and creative industries. We intend to focus attention on generating job opportunities in the cultural and creative industries, which include music, sport, and entertainment. Serious policy development is intended for these important industries. This is a part of the process of creating employment. The third imperative facing us is that of building sustainable businesses. Such enterprises are important for providing decent and productive work. They also help to generate the financial support needed for social development. It will have to be matched with necessary tax reform. Another consideration of the progressive agenda is the role of the state. These are some very serious issues that should be considered in every group, every family, and every community. Because the progressive agenda is about you and about how you interface with your government. It believes in opening up the parliament and the budget to consultation. It believes in the establishment of pre-budget consultations with stakeholders. At the very heart of the progressive agenda are the PNP's core values, dialogue, tolerance, education, respect for human dignity and human rights. Most importantly, integrity, democracy, freedom, and justice for all Jamaicans. So what is so progressive about this agenda? Things and times change. The Jamaica that existed at independence is a very different one to present day Jamaica. Even with this change, there is one thing that has remained constant. Jamaica's modern history reads like a tapestry of PNP ideas, of PNP philosophy, 
and of peer discouraged. The PNP fully appreciates that over time, policies and approaches to policy making must change with the times. That, fundamentally, is what is so progressive about the progressive agenda. At its core is the understanding that extensive change has taken place globally in the last century and change continues to take place. Just like Norman Manley, in 1955, the man with the plan, just like Michael Manley in the 70s with democratic socialism and the 80s with the compass, just like P.J. Patterson with the 21st Central Mission in the 1990s, I am ready to lead that renaissance as we chart the course for the next generation of policies, of ideas that will once again transform the Jamaican landscape and advance us on the road to social equality and economic prosperity. For two and a half years, we sought your input did the research and are now pleased to present you with the progressive agenda. Read the details closely and carefully. Discuss it in your churches, your offices, in your youth groups and on your corners. For the progressive agenda to truly work will require the buy-in of each and every Jamaican that has nation building, social cohesion and national unity as their goal. This is the goal of the People's National Party, as best articulated by our leader. If we unite as a people and recapture the strength and determination of our ancestors, we can do it and we can make it right. And so in the words of the poet Jean Wilson, it is a strange kind of time, a born again time, a looking up time. Give thanks for this feeling of healing Love on our faces, light for dark places, shining so bright, erasing the night. What a strange kind of time, a looking up time. What a beautiful dawn, hope in the morning. Yes, Mr. Speaker, a new day's dawning, and we see the rising sun.